everybody. Welcome to Click3D. This is the program where we're going to be talking about photogrammetry and how you can use nothing more than just a simple digital camera and some software to create some really, really nice 3D models. Uh, my name is Eugene Lisho. I'm a 3D forensic analyst, and I've been using photogrammetry for years now. Uh, I've been teaching it. I've been using it in my casework. And I really believe that photogrammetry is an amazing technology because it allows you to do so much with very, very little. Uh, you're just stuck. Try as you might, and believe me, I've experimented with a whole bunch of things that gets me super frustrated because I'm hoping that you know I'm going to get a really great model out of something, and unfortunately, it just doesn't work out the way you want. Okay, so some things are just not meant to be used with photogrammetry, just like a laser scanner or other technologies. They all have their limitations. Okay, so uh, we have to keep that in mind. Um, let me give you a very simple example here. So here I have just a, uh, a photograph of, a, a, of, a, of a, a certificate on a wall here. And there's a couple of things going on here that are going to cause problems. First is, let's talk about the background. Okay, so not the actual uh, uh, frame and, and certificate itself, but the background. A very plain background. So when you're taking photographs of just plain walls or very flat textured items, they are not good subjects for photogrammetry. They're gonna cause you some problems. So if you run this through any photogrammetry software, typically what's gonna happen is where you get um, high contrast. So for example, on the right side where you have the uh, little bit of shadows and it's dark and then you get to the light, that part there will probably reconstruct. So around the frame and such, that might be okay. Uh, probably a little bit of noise, but near there, especially where the wall is um, near here, you get a piece of the wall that kind of reconstructs. But as you go outward, anything that reconstructs, if it even reconstructs, is going to be super noisy. Okay, it's not going to be a high quality model. It's going to give you some problems there. And unfortunately, um, not much you can do there except you can add texture. There are like little tricks and other little things that you can do there. Um, you can put up tape, you can put up other things that have high contrast, and that will allow the photogrammetry software some things to hold on to. Now, there's other things that are going on in this particular image, and that has to do with uh, the glare from the glass. So anything that's reflective will cause you some problems. So as I move the camera, um, the reflections move as well. So if we're talking about trying to match things from one image to another and they're moving, they're not in the same spot. So they're gonna give us some problems. This is very, very common on cars, on vehicles. Um, vehicles are very challenging because they tend to be flat textured or very uh, evenly textured or painted surfaces. So the color doesn't change or you don't get a lot of fine details. They're also very shiny or specular. And so as you're taking a photograph, you'll see a lot of reflections. And as you move, those reflections move. So it's this moving object that can't stay stationary from one image to the next image to the next image. And so it causes a lot of problems for uh, the photogrammetry software. Couple that with the glass as well, which you know is kind of transparent. You get reflections, you get all kinds of things happening. Um, cars or, or vehicles are very, very difficult unless they are rusted, dirty, they got dirt on them, they're not shiny at all, uh, then that tends to help. So there's things that you can do, coatings, uh, adding tape or breaking up the texture somehow. Uh, I'm not gonna get into those kinds of details, but uh, those are the types of things that you would uh, try to do to improve uh, you know, a model uh, with uh, just poor background, poor texture, reflections, and uh, that type of thing. 